Hey everyone, welcome to the Pace Studio in New York City. We're here with Vitamin String Quartet. Welcome everyone. Hi. Hi. Uh, for anyone tuning in who's unfamiliar, uh, VSQ is kind of a rotating group of musicians um, playing cool versions of pop songs. So uh, what's the first one you've got for us today? We're going to do uh, Stay by Zed. All right. We're ready when you are. pretty much the antithesis of an EDM song, so thanks for that. <laughs> um, like I said earlier, uh, VSQ is kind of a rotating cast of characters, uh, so I was wondering if we could go around and if you guys could introduce yourselves and how long you've been playing with the group. Sure. Uh, I'm Derek Stein, and I've been playing in one capacity or another with Vitamin String Quartet since 2012. I'm Tom Lee, uh, viola, and I've been playing with VSQ since... 2014. Hi, I'm Amanda Lowe, and I'm brand new. I'm Roman Ian, and we are brand new. We are, this, is our first, this is our first set with these guys. We're glad it's here with us. Thanks so much. Um, Derek, I, I heard that uh, you do a lot of arranging for the group. I was wondering if you could tell us a little bit about um, your role, kind of putting all the pieces together. Well, occasionally I will 
they'll send me the charts to do just some general cleanup. And if I notice something that I think maybe doesn't quite fit or I could make sound a little bit more like the original, I'll suggest that to them. And sometimes they'll say, yeah, go for it. And other times they say, actually, like it this way. And it's nice. You know, I get to just work from home and work on these cool charts and it's a good time. Where's home for you? Los Angeles. Excellent. And uh, you two new fiddle players are based here in New York, right? Yeah. Awesome. We, yeah. We, have, we actually were in, we're in a different string quartet also. We're in a string quartet called uh, Seven Sun. Which is like a hard. We're coming from hardcore punk and, and metal, so we kind of like they they uh, they they came to scout us. Actually, Leo and Leo came to a show at Saint Vitus, and uh, saw us do our thing. And he was like, "We'd love to incorporate you into the VSQ, like in that kind of and bring that kind of a little bit of that flavor." Totally. Place. Wait. So what's it like for you guys playing like pop songs now? That's not hardcore at all. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no, but you know if Dillinger can do it on a. Uh, on that on that album, uh, uh, plagiarism. You know they do. T- you know they do JT. So, if, you know Dillinger can do it. We can we can do this too. Point taken. Point taken. <laughs> All right. Well, what's the next song you're gonna play for us today? We're gonna do "New Slaves" by Kanye West. And, uh, get to hear songs where the viola has the uh, lead line, so <laughs> yeah. nicely done. <laughs> How many bow hairs do y'all destroy per song, much less per set? I don't know. I mean, there's like no endorsing, there's no endorsement from like a rear hair, like from a horse hair company. And I really horse. Wish we should work on that. <laughs> yeah. It was, yeah. <laughs> gonna work on that one, Earl. Yeah. No, I bust them like every show, like for our, our stuff, like every show is like a new rehair. I bet, Sucks. I bet, dude, that's <laughs> expensive too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like eighty bucks. Yeah, like, yeah, start like charging extra. Just like, <laughs> yeah, put that in your rider. Yeah, an extra totally. eighty bucks for the bow hair, which for the bow inevitably after the show. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. Having, having grown up kind of in the classical music world and uh, trying to familiarize myself with it um, these days, it still seems like there's a major disconnect between like pop music and classical music. Um, so I was wondering, since you guys are kind of a play in the intersection of those genres, I guess, um, what, what do you listen to for fun and how do you kind of uh, 
see yourselves when you're performing with VSQ? Oh man, I, I mean, I, I go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my Instant God. deferral. <laughs> Do it. I almost my music listening is almost entirely for study these days. Okay. I don't really listen to music recreationally as much as I once did. Um, so for me, it's like whatever I'm working on, whatever I need to learn for this or for anything else that I'm doing, that's what I enjoy listening to. But are you listening to like original Kanye version or various iterations of arrangements for what you're going to play? Like a little of both. Yeah. I think I'm like the resident hip hopper in the quartet and... So that's why you got the, the main line on that one. I think so. Like I think so. That might have been part of it. But yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm into like all kinds of like classic funk and old school and soul and that's kind of my bag. That's what I like to listen to and like tribe and, and early hip hop. And um, yeah, I think there's, it's, it's, the lines are blurring between classical and, and pop and hip hop and rock and soul. It's like, we got to like kind of bridge the gap a little bit between what people think classical music is and what people think popular music is and because it all totally. it all fits it all works and it's just like on a different day you might want to listen to something completely different but this kind of fits in there absolutely i also think it's a generational change there's a shift going on where like all of us are like omnivores relatively in terms of like music i mean like just because i come from hardcore metal doesn't mean i'm not listening to radiohead you know, yeah. or like our outcast or like, you know, like any of that stuff too. Yeah. So I think all of us have like, and I think that's growing in even in, in you know, like people who are coming up playing, playing string, string instruments, it's, it's getting less and less of that kind of like, you have to show up to your lessons in a suit and tie and you have to like yeah. try to play like, you know, like, like high fits as much as possible. And like, you know, like, I don't think that's really, so it's kind of coming out of it. I so hope my right. uh, cello teacher in college used to comment on how scary he thought my sh t-shirts were. Oh, right. <laughs> rancid t-shirts and coming in like that yeah yes. it's a scary shirt as, as far as collaborations go too i'm finding more and more artists are eager to work with orchestral musicians and orchestras i think we've all he's done orchestras with you know jay-z we just did a cool collaboration separately on opposite coasts with an amazing violinist who does hip-hop yeah miguel atwood Ferguson um we've done stuff with bjork in orchestral yeah. settings um and i'm a massive bjork fan you, so that's so um, did you get to meet her yeah, <laughs> yeah i did <laughs> and he did too but so a lot of people are are starting to seek that out awesome we've got one more for us today what's the last song you've got do you have two more or one more? Well, it doesn't matter. Oh. Whatever. It's you, you guys are running the show we would love to have two more songs two more. <laughs> just kidding <laughs> Up next is Radiohead's True Love Waits. Since you mentioned Radiohead. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you. 
Amazing. So I've got another kind of round table question for each of you or anyone who wants to chime in. Um, I was wondering if there was a song that either you've recorded or performed with VSQ or for you two relatively new players. Practiced. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> practiced or maybe heard from VSQ's uh, archives, if you will, uh, that has converted you to be a fan of the original track. So maybe you heard a song and you were like not really digging it and then like you performed it or heard it, and you were like, oh, I get it. Yo, know, Linkin Park. Really? This, this heavy, heavy, like, I, like, obviously, you know, like, you know, R.I.P. Chester Bennington for sure, you know, but just, uh, but just in terms of just whether I like the music or not, I was never much of a Linkin Park fan. Mm -hmm. But when I heard this tune, like, it was so, like, I don't know whether it was, like, on the heels of his passing or whatever it was, but it was just, it really hit me, like, hard. Like, I was like, oof. This is this is this is deep. This is a good one, you know. So, strong choice. Yeah, so. I think the um, the Bat for Lashes tune, Laura. I'd never heard that before. I'd heard her first record, and I hadn't heard. The, I think that was her second or third record, and that song is gorgeous. And I was just like, what? How did I miss this tune? So, yeah, that that was really cool to hear that tune. VSQ, that chart, reading that chart, practicing that chart, which we're playing Thursday night um, at the Rockwood. We're playing that song, so I'm really excited to do that one. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Uh, in general, I'm I'm not a, a uh, Kanye West fan, but this version of New Slaves is so fun. <laughs> and uh, in my study, I listened to the original and definitely appreciated it. Nice. Amanda, I you can also all, pass. I think they also <laughs> answered used all my answers. questions. You used all my answers. <laughs> 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 you can find one more. <laughs> <laughs> hours right. later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just let us know. You can comment on the live feed. <laughs> What's the last song you've got for us today? We're doing Heavy by Linkin Park. Oh, perfect. yeah, that's okay. Yeah. I got it. We're good. <laughs>
awesome. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Um, I do. So, Tom, like you mentioned, um, got a gig on Thursday here in New York City at Rockwood. Yeah. Um, and if you guys tuning in like what you hear, um, the latest recorded album, VSQ Performs the Hits of 2017, is out now. Thank you guys so much for being with us today. Thank you, guys. Thank you.